Don't What's going on guys? It's Shane with Blacktop Racing. I'm here with Tom Barry. He hasn't been in a car like this in a while or ever, but he's known for his <laughs> But he's known for his Evo driving and right now we're testing out actually getting some feed feedback from the Falcon 660s. So it's going to be interesting out here right now it in Cali. Thank you for the Cali uh, group for putting this all together on a practice day on Saturday. Uh, and the course is dry, the course is quick, and it's a fun course. So let's see what Tom thinks. So they don't scream like they did the 615s. Lateral grip does feel better. Getting my little knee feel. that I tried out. Let's see how it takes this corner. High speed corner, stability was really good as well. It's playing around the car really aggressively and it doesn't seem to bite whatsoever where before the 615s will actually, you couldn't dance it nearly like how you can right now. So grip is definitely up. This is a 51.117. Uh, some of the other drivers were around that area, but this is your first run in the car. What were some of your feedbacks on the 660? I do like the lateral grip, and it's, it transitions just fine. I, I do like it. Uh, I was expecting a little more of a numb feel, but it was, uh, it was relatively precise, which could be a relationship of the tire or the, the car setup. Mm -hmm. But, oh. No, overall, still, still learning curve for me. But yeah. uh, I, the, the, in the other car, I did a, the other one that's trying these on. Yep. I did a fifty point six, and Nine. it felt. Uh, but I didn't have one hundred and seventy. Of course, I, I'm, I'm a heavy guy in here. I'm a heavy guy. <laughs> so just wanted a quick take. Uh, I'll try and get some more feedback from all the other drivers. Um, but right now, the car, the, the tires are feeling pretty promising. An they STR do. car ran forty eight point eight with Mike Yancey in there, Yancey in there. So this this is gonna be something that's gonna throw into the REs, the Rivals, and now the 660s and the Yokos? I think this shows a lot of promise for SSC. You know, the, the complaint was that the tires that they were running on before was, were, were you know, did not have much of the lateral grip. <laughs> and this seems to be a definite improvement. Yes, no, definitely, definitely. So. Uh, again, this is just uh, this is not official in the sense that these are the tires to, um, that they're going to be going with. That that decision will be made in about a week or two. So this is just a sneak peek, a, a very nice quickie, just trying to feel feel out the tires. And I do like them; they're very similar to the Rival S in the sense of lateral G's. Uh, Christmas, obviously, I'm not driving, so I can't tell that. But the balance, even in hard G's, um, high high speed G's, and the balance and balance. With the suspension how everything's working it's not sliding and not as peaky it feels again a lot of that can do with uh, the car setup and how tom is driving nice and smooth but it seems like the window of opportunity is wider where you can maximize the grip versus on the 15s where you get anything wrong you're dancing it out or you're understanding you're, you're going one way or the other right. so i want to thank tom i want to thank everybody here i will name down some names because i suck with names at times so uh, I'll put down and try to get more data, but thank you guys. All right guys, so you just saw my review while we're in car, I'm back at the hotel and just wanna kinda have a nice little download of everything that happened today. Uh, thanks a lot for the Cal, for, um, SCCA Cal for holding the event. It was a practice event on Saturday. Uh, Tom Barry was in the car. He allowed me to sit in on his, on his feedback, uh, I believe uh, Nick, and sorry, I butcher everything and forget everybody's names, uh, but they allowed me to ride along with it. And Mitch apparently was just collecting all the data and checking everything out. Uh, Mike Yance, along with Terrence, gave me some feedback, which I'll cover in a few. But I want to kind of go over a little bit of the footnotes that I gathered at the time. So the review kind of went that they started out with the 615s, uh, fresh 615s. Then they went... Had, uh, as, a, as a baseline just to fill everything out then they went with fresh 660s 
and then immediately switched over to the test 660s that had almost 40, uh, over 40 runs. So I think it was about 46 runs from the TNT in Seattle. So they were trying to compare some things and some feel. So I probably won't phrase who said what, but in the end, in comparison to the 615s, everything is just better. Uh, it doesn't scream, which, I mean, we, we all like some screamers. Let's, let's, let's be real here. We like going around the corner and hear, ah! Why not? <laughs> but these are quiet. It's actually reminiscent of the tires and Yokohamas and the rivals were just not screaming as much. Um, but they are satisfying and providing uh, good grip. Now, since I, it was just me and my butt dyno, I wasn't behind the wheel, I couldn't really tell as far as responses. Now, uh, talking to others, in comparison to tires such as the Bridgestones, let, let's put the Bridgestones on the top when it comes to crispness and uh, feeling, the 660s are not taking that, that mantle. So let's just get that out of the way. Now, when it comes to overall grip, you will have to look at the data and see the research from uh, if anybody else really tested out the Rivals versus 660s, but let's just say it's a notch down, um, but still in that area. Um, now, when it comes to uh, braking, braking, just this is just, again, feedback from others, it seemed as though it wasn't as good as the Bridgestones as well. So when you're comparing it to the Bridgestones, even if it's a notch down, say nine tenths of what the Bridgestones is uh, or are, that means that SSC is gonna have a joyous time. The pass is gonna be changed. The speed is gonna be up there. We're gonna beat the, the butts off of E Street now. Let's go. And, <laughs> and so it, it, it should be pretty, pretty fun. Now, I did get a chance to drive, it was Yokohama's, but they were smaller, 195s, and the time that I ran in the ND2 in C Street was actually 50.2. Um, Matt Jones, that was Matt Jones's car, and he ran a fastest, was like a high 49s. Now, in comparison, the fastest that I saw SSC with the 660s were around, um, what was it, 50, point 50 point five 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 and 50 point five basically 50 point five so um those are the ones that i saw maybe folks can comment down and say what the fastest time they ran but that just tells us a lot now that we're climbing closer to c street times now with the matt jones's car it was 195 so it doesn't have as much lateral grip but it has more g's and we could run in third gear uh for a, quite a bit of the the course there so Take that with, with a little bit of grain of salt, but that's telling me now that the time is closer to C Street than it is with E Street, which is, thank goodness. So that, that's kind of my take on it, guys. Uh, it is not official. Uh, Mitch is putting in all the information together. The next thing that we kind of looked at was the tire wear. So with the 40, uh, 46 run tire, and then the guys, I, I believe, probably put on another at least 12. So 12 per driver and per session, I should say. So l l let's just round that up to 20, considering that there was a lot of other drivers jumping in the car. So after approximately at least 60 runs, uh, you can see the picture that it looked very similar to the wear of an RE71. Now, note that some of the sides, the outer portion being on the right side of the image, uh, there is a little bit of wear. So just like the REs, you're going to have to flip them. And then when you flip them, you'll probably lose an event in the sense of trying to get the wear back in. But just be cognizant of that is all I would say, just the usual flip after uh, between between 40 and uh, 70 runs, just due to how, how the camber um, works on these cars and, and you get some out of wear. So that's it guys. Uh, looking very good and looking very promising for, uh, the, the 2020 season. I know folks are upset that they already had to purchase and run the 615s, but if, if everything gets cleared, folks are able to run the 660s, go out and grab a set and, um, yeah, considering the price point of those things, they a lot of people may just pick some up to be, hey, it's a notch down from 
what we uh, know to be with the Aries and the Rivals and the Yokos, but the price point is just going to be so nice. And for that performance, why not? So we'll see how long term goes, but the tire is looking good and the season is looking good. So hopefully it works out, boys and girls. All right. I'll catch you guys next time. Like, subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that you like the content that's going on. Uh, give any suggestions on some other things that you want me to check out. I'll be doing some more car reviews and, uh, and hopefully some more tire reviews this year. All right. Take care.